a podcast about nothing. So you said like everybody has a settling point and you're good with this. So then what's the next step though? You can create new goals. You can create new goals with, with like putting together what you have. It's like, okay, so we're here. You're good with this. And it's like, okay, we're good with this. So do you feel like we should push more? Of course. See, niggas don't know what they want. No, 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 and no. And what I want to say to you, the people. No, I'm saying is, I can is be. Joe Biden oh. and what I want to do. Sorry, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying like. This is further along than what I thought we would be in the time that we facts in the time that we spent doing this activity and, and implementing and doing what we need to do. Right? So I can be comfortable with this. Will I get tired of this same thing? More than likely. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Will I want more for the situation if I'm gonna be coming here spending my time doing this? More than likely. But I'm satisfied with where we are right now. Right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. satisfied with where we are. That's what I mean by you have to keep pushing and keep growing to keep pushing things. You might be, I might be comfortable for three years. I don't know, but yeah. I'm good right now. Do you feel like you have to surround yourself with people that aspire to be more in order for you to push to be more? Most definitely. Like, so. like that top five thing is real. The top five people you spend your most time with are the people who are motivating you and creating the way you move around in this world and your motivational factors, the way you think. And it doesn't even have to be based off of one thing. Some people hang around all entrepreneurs, so they're going to get it. They're going to talk about it. I don't want everybody doing the same thing as me. Facts. I need some people who are chilling, calm, cool, and collected that can register what I'm talking about and don't just have to, oh, I'm going to call you back. I'm going to call you back. Like, hear me out when I'm actually talking to you. Like, I've been seeing this meme go around all week. The mm -hmm. I have friends making twenty five thousand an hour. I have friends making fifty thousand dollars an hour. I have friends who are millionaires, and I, you know, whatever the thing says, I expect that same and all of the other stuff from all kind of people. I don't want any of the same kind of people around me. That's mm -hmm. the whole point. Complimentary. You only don't have to compliment one thing. Keep it moving. That's with anything. People, places, things, nouns. <laughs> Keep it moving. Feelings too. Feelings too. Mm -hmm. What? Keep it moving with your feelings too. What's that mean? Like, keep your feelings moving. Oh, don't say stop. In anything. You want happiness? Get more happiness. You want sadness? Get happiness. Keep moving. You can't just be stuck. Keep moving. Sad. You can't just be... I'm not going to say you can't be stuck in happiness. You shouldn't be stuck in contentness. Boom. Let me... Hold on. Y'all yeah, know I got my notes. Y'all yeah, know I got my notes. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What'd you say again? Don't... Don't... Boom. Be stuck. In... So, yeah. It's the environmental issue... <laughs> Global warming is happening. No. <laughs> Don't let the earth get hot <laughs> where you at. So do you think like mental health affects your like your environment affects your mental health? Most definitely. And that's the thing. People don't understand happiness is a state of mental health as well. So people only focus on mental health when it's something negative. Mm. You get what I'm saying? So when it comes to mental health, yes, you can be in a good mood, but that's contributed to what's going on around you. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So I, that's how I look at it. So, uh, <clears throat> so if y'all sad in this quarantine, y'all feel like you need to get out, y'all might need to get out. True. I think this, this whole lock-in, this whole quarantine thing has definitely brought out... Um, I don't know if people are actually, it's like a depression, like the the clinical version of it, or it's just you being stuck in your situation. And I say that being a person that is actually struggling with being stuck in my situation. Um, it's like insanity. Yes. 
it's like cabin fever, insanity. It's like all of that stuff. Uh, I thought it was definitely like PMS, women's health. Another conversation, definitely a conversation for another day. Um, but I've definitely struggled for the last uh, month. I don't know if I want to tell you my business. Go ahead. Uh-uh. I'm you don't gonna... never tell us nothing. What's I do. Y'all don't love my business. Hold on. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. I've definitely struggled with a lot of um, ups and downs with my emotions over the past couple of months. And I realized that your environment plays a big part in that whether it's you know in a relationship which my husband is amazing and i've said that multiple times but and not just because his cousin is sitting across from me and you had a lot of me for i don't even know her like that it's like what <laughs> um but it's just like i think that sometimes we speaking of comfort in an environment we tend to pigeonhole ourselves in in that environment because of fear or whatever it is like getting i don't know what i'm saying but like getting backlash yeah it's like getting out of the environment is sometimes scarier than than actually being stuck in the environment. What may I ask you? What makes you more nervous in your? Not, I don't know if nervous is word. Nervous sounds so like call the police, but <laughs> <laughs> like nervous to me. Like what makes you more uneasy in your situation? Is it your responsibility? Is it your mental state dealing with your responsibility, or is it just like? everything overall like I don't have any one issue it's just like I feel more pressure than ever like what is it see I feel more pressured than ever mm. it's like and I'm sure everybody can relate that, to this whether you're alone or whether you're with a bunch of people in, in this whole lock in it's like the pressure to be um, for me is the pressure to be uh, to take and not even the pressure to be is taking on more responsibility than I've ever signed up for. Hmm. If that makes any sense, like that makes sense. You know, a lot has happened in the last year and my family and your family and everybody's family. It's like this past year has has been a test on who can handle pressure and who can't handle pressure. And, and you feel all that pressure. And I feel it. And I feel guilty for not being able to handle it. And I don't know if this is a real thing or if anybody has ever put a label on it, which I hate labels, but emotional guilt is mm -hmm. what I feel. I feel guilty for being emotional. I feel guilty for being not like not for being present. I feel guilty for wanting to just lay in my bed and do nothing. Mm -hmm. I feel guilty for, you know, not moving every day because I have people in my family who move all the time. So it's like, if I don't get something done in that day, it's like, fuck. Yeah. If I feel like I just need to get away and have peace, and it's I like, feel like you're like me in a sense, like we are like in a sense that we don't want to come up with an excuse on why we want to take a nap. 
You get what I'm saying? Like, we literally just want to fall asleep. Like, that's it. I don't want to have to say, like, I'm so tired. Can you do this? Can you do this? Can you do that? I just want to go to sleep. I have to tell everybody I want to go to sleep. I don't want to have to do that. Yeah. I literally just want to fall asleep. Yeah. I feel what you're saying. And it's like, I'm tired today. Yeah. I feel, I understand what you're saying. You know, like, I'm literally tired because I feel like I'm going nonstop. I feel like I'm tired because I'm on my period. You know, it's like, Mm. I mean, it's uh, like I can relate. Yeah, it's like you know, I'm it's gonna hit you up. Bitch, <laughs> 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 right. like, ooh, sheesh. I yeah, we was good, Flo.